the uh fun fair. Yeah, great. Let's go. Love the fun fair. Actually, we call it um carnival here. It's just a little difference. Uh whoop de doo. <laughs> Calculating route. So, Michelle, what do you like to do? What do you like to do? Come on, I asked you first. I like to keep active, I guess. Sports, working out, things like that. I'd like to know about you, though. See the places you hang out. Yeah, maybe another time. Nico? I think some big developers have bought it or something. There's a bowling alley over on the boardwalk. Why don't we play a few frames? Cool. Let's go bowling, then. Thanks for taking me out. I haven't been on a date for a while. I'm kind of lonely here. I thought you were doing me a favor by going out with me. You're the local. I'm not a local in Liberty City. I came here from somewhere... Where? Oh, uh, the Midwest. <laughs> you probably know more people here than me. More assholes, maybe. Beg your pardon. You like the wall, yes? You have come to the right place. Choose a leg.
So, that was fun. Will you take me back home now? Of course I'll take you home. Let's go. So, you don't know many people here in Liberty City? No boyfriends or husbands or anything? No, I guess I'm married to my job. Well, what do you do? What do you do? Come on, I asked first. I work with Mallory. What do you do, exactly? You're a hard girl to talk to, Michelle. I guess you're not used to talking to American women. I guess. Beg your pardon. Where'd you run off to? Calculating route. Yes, no so what are you doing here in Liberty City, Nico? What's anybody doing here? I don't know. I think you do. There must be something that made you leave your home and come here. Roman's bullshit stories, maybe. I just felt like I needed a new start. There's nothing else about Liberty City then? Just Roman? Maybe there is more to this place. I'm not sure yet. Nice. I'm really interested in seeing you again. Yeah, that would be good. I'll give you a call. Please do, Nico. See you soon. I began to freak out in front of responsible thing. I walked away. Yes, I work in the health industry. Yes, I had a purse full of life-saving heart drug samples, but I did not know if this woman had insurance. I did not know if she was going to sue me, so I did the responsible thing, and I left it to the professionals. Wow, did you even call nine? Thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to protect us from crazy loan sharks. You attacked, Nico! You shouldn't have borrowed money from them in the first place, Roman. Anyway, I was seeing Michelle. I thought you wanted me to date her. Not when it means me getting beat up and sent to hospital! Come and pick me up, cousin, and at least tell me that you got some titties out. Maybe then your betrayal will be worthwhile. It was a nice city, yes? My mother had a great home remedy. Home from the home for heart problems. You're an animal, Roman. Nothing can stop you being horny. I'll see you soon. No bureaucracy. It's like my dad. I remember him telling me, son, diabetes is a including sensible maintaining of lots of friends on Capitol Hill, you'll see the upside. And you want to complain because... There is the man who chose Cooch before his cousin. I hope she was worth it. Will you drive me back to the office, cousin? Uh. Jesus! They're the solution. We need that money to fly doctors to golf retreats yards. in the Caribbean. Turn. How was she, cousin? Tell me how she was. I wondered about Michelle when I first met her. If she was not a friend of Mallory's, it would be me with the smell of titty on my breath, and you, who ended up in hospital. Firstly, Logan, my breath does not smell of titty. Secondly, I don't think that your loan shark friends could hospitalize me. I can look after myself. All the more reason why I should have hooked up with Michelle. Everyone would be a winner. Yes, well, I will not let these men treat you like that again. I'm sorry for letting you down, Roman. You have a right. Should we go natural in our health care? Definitely. Roman, I apologize again for not being there for you. You've done a lot for me since I got here. Uh, the choice between some titties and your safety would have been difficult for me as well. Don't worry, Nico. Call me soon. <coughs> Sorry. 
I guess your pills ain't working, lady. Well, you know, let me tell you, the fact is, and it's a fact, drugs are killing us, man. You people are heading towards the dark ages. Up until the 1950s, this country was sick, diseased with worry. We helped usher in change with drugs perfect for an America coping with anxiety due to the civil rights movement. You guys want to take us back to home medicine? Please, you will kill people with your nonsense. The fact is, the only thing that makes people be happy is... Blender has me trapped again. This is all your fault. Okay, Roman. I'm not going to let something else get in the way this time. Where are you? Over on the coast, under the L train on Firefly. Blader, her body. You proved your point the first time. Calculating route. And that's a fact. What works is a huge pyramid with diagnostics at the center and patient Turn recovery left. at the top, which it always is with us here at Copenhagen. Turn right. You have arrived. Holistics, man. Drilling holes. It's an ancient oh, form of medicine. Shit. If you had a headache, people run over to you and start drilling a hole in your head. If you had a heartburn, they I feel like killing something. A, a small animal. <laughs> Listen. Darden is a good friend of mine. It was a misunderstanding. Oh! Hey! Shit! There he is! Keep on fat boy here and I'll talk to him! Our problems with your cousin. I told you to stop! Now it's too late. I won't take no shit! Cousin. Yeah. Fine. Fucking lawn sharks, man. If one more of these gangsters tries to... Speaking of shitheads, here's Darden. Come on, my car is over there. Let's get him. You drive. I don't feel so good. Get in the fucking car! better than me. They think they can fuck me around and beat me up because there are more of them. Not any longer. Me and you, Nico. Me and you are going to show them. Fucking dirt and smashing my fucking stuff. Who does he think he is? Just some fucking petty Albanian hood. If I wanted to buy a stolen TV, I'd go to Darden. Who does he think he's fucking with? Balik Enterprises, that's who. We're going to the top, Nico. The top! For now, let's just try to survive, cousin. The 
of him is stuck. He's trying to get away on foot. There's what we owe you, Darden. Nothing else. Nice one, cousin. Drive back to the depot. These bruises are starting to pain. These men, these Shylocks like Darden, they always try to squeeze you for everything. A man in Europe, another Russian. Bulgari. He lived on the Adriatic. Believed I owed him money when I did not. It made my life impossible. There was no avoiding him. Did you deal with him like you did Darden and Bleeder? He had too many connections for that. I had to leave. He is one of the reasons I came here. And to see your cousin, of course. Of course. We will have no more problems from now on, cousin. It is all plain sailing straight to the top for you and me. We will see if things are that simple. It's not Rosa, is it? Uh, no, it's Martina. I knew it was not. Thank you, cousin. I'll see you later. That was my next guess. No, wait. Martina. In a past life, you were called Rosa. That's where that was coming from. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Come on, Hattie. Forget about the fat sir. Oh, Vlad, shut up. But he's a serf, and you're a countess. Uh, talking about serfs. Oh, hey, Nico. Where's Rom? <laughs> Good question. Hey, Yoko, your dumb cousin isn't here. Go get me a coffee. What? Get me a fucking coffee! Come on, I'll get you one. What? You keep staring at me. I'll burst one of your eyeballs. Gorgeous, this guy's a fucking creep. Give him a break. He's new in the country. I can see that. Did you walk here from 1985? Yeah. Excellent. Now stop fucking staring at me. I mean, I know I'm good looking and everything, but come on. Uh, hey, Mallory. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> About time. Vlad, Vladdy boy, what's going on? Roman, Roman boy, you tell me what's going on. Nice aftershave, what is that, sex pest? No, it's where is my fucking money? I, I had it, I, I had some of it. Then those Albanians you said you would deal with came and smashed my computer. So it's my fault? I, I didn't say that. Good. Anyway, Nico dealt with him. Broke Darden's arm, then beat up a couple more. Then we teach him a real lesson. <laughs> is that so? I tell you what, while you don't pay, Maybe you and Nico can do me few favors. Sure. <laughs> Good. Why not? Later, Vlad. What? The phone's ringing. Hey. Yeah. Okay. No, I, I can't do it. My cousin will do it. Yes, he can drive. No, he's not a cop. His name is Nico. You'll be right over. Nico. Sorry to ask, cousin. Can you go pick up Jermaine, one of my regulars? He's over on Rotterdam Hill on Mohawk Avenue? Whatever. What was this all about? Nico came in looking for you, and Vlad told him to get him a fucking coffee, and Nico didn't want to. Coffee? What was he thinking? I know. A brother he doesn't know. This explains why his life will be marred by failure. Oh, that's horrible. How can you tell? That's all we've got time for, dearie. What? No, no, no. You're out of good luck. Enjoy the diamonds. But remember, please call. If you want to get on the seance, have a credit card handy. You can be happy. You will be. It's so close. A transaction away. 2123602367. Who's on the line? Hello, dearie. This is the sales. But then, we already knew it. Yeah, hi. I'm having trouble at work. I knew that. You're not a gondolier, are you? No. And I knew that. Thanks for coming! Can you take me over to Masterson Street? Masterson Street it is, Jermaine. Shh! 
Shit, I thought Roman was gonna pick me up. I need someone I can trust for this run. I'm Roman's cousin. If you can trust him, you can trust me. Ah, uh, he told me about you. You're Nico, right? The hotshot ladies' man cruising around the Mediterranean, breaking hearts and making millions? Yeah, I traded in the yacht for this cab. <laughs> That's exactly the kind of bullshit I can imagine Roman making up. You've got to give him credit for his imagination. Yeah, you got it. I had a feeling you sounded too good to be true. The question is, are you willing to get your hands dirty? My hands haven't been clean for a long time. Being here in Liberty City is just making them dirtier. Okay, okay. I gotta pick up some hot parts for my locker. You down? I ain't got no problem with that. Just don't tell me if you stole this shit from a hospital or a school for sick kids. My conscience is troubled enough already. Exactly. That was a trick question. You were named after Saint... That door isn't meant to be open. Wait here while I take a look. I'm talking to him right now, Michael. He's visiting from this spirit world. He was a saint. He's telling me... The cops are on to me! Get us out of here! great and powerful man, only you don't know it yet. He's Help, man! You gotta shake these cops! They're exactly the same struggles he went through when fighting the Moors. Uncle Mike fought the Moors? I thought he was in destruction. He was a bit racist. He was your... I'm spinning out, man! Get these cops off our tails! Attract any unnecessary attention. Home a premium rate number every day until we can find Great. out what it is. We lost it. It's very important you do this every day. If you do that, Michael. Well, Michael, it's very important. He's telling so what brings you to Liberty City, Nico? Roman, I guess. And some other things. I'm looking for something. Good luck finding them. How's the hunt been going so far? It is not really started yet. I'm getting settled in, you know. Roman has had some issues with loan sharks that needed to be resolved. There's this asshole called Vlad, who he owes money to as well. Good luck with that. Okay, we're here. Thanks, man. Keep looking after Roman, all right? Right, get to your quiet. Join the sales. Hi, my name is Candy. I knew that, dearie. I was told we made love in Mauritania once. It was a small. Let me guess. Roman, I got your friend Jermaine where he wanted to go. Good, Nico. Thanks. I can't talk. See you soon. You're a Virgo this time, right? No, I can't. That's what they told you. I know, I know. But you had Virgo rising. No, actually, I think I had Libra rising. I know, but I'm not looking at simplistic, superficial astrology. Anyone can do that. I'm looking deeper into the cosmos, behind the Libra. Yoko, fetch your Roman's cousin. It's Vlad. Vlad, the uh, name doesn't ring any bells. I'm sorry. You better start remembering important people, you dumb peasant. Your cousin owes me a lot of money. If you don't want to make things real difficult for him, you are going to come to Comrade's bar in Mohawk. I have a work for you. You got 
a guilty look about you. Any Ah, uh, fuck you! You're a bunch of pussies and fags! Nice! I'm going back to the meeting! Good! I'm going to be somebody! Yeah, yeah. See you later, man. You always were an asshole, Mickey! Hey, watch where you're going! Hey! Hey! I tried to tell you... Fuck to you! Excuse me. So, Ivan, I see you later, okay? Yoko, Fetter Romanskaze. What's your name again? Big Mouth Flick. Very casual. Sit down. Cousin. Uh, Nico. That's it, Nico. Not Big Mouth Flick. You funny guy. I try. Yes, and this one's. I'll let you take the shit out of me. Take this shit? Yes, me give out. I don't understand. Ah, people who fuck with me, get fucked with! Okay, fine. Calm down. Whatever. Some old man not paid me in months. And I'm not kind of person who is treated this way. Old bastard owns a china shop in the Campton Avenue in Dukes. Here you go. Don't hurt him. Just teach him a lesson. I don't need a bat to teach a lesson. money, old man. Big Vlad and his protection money? I so scared. What I need protection from? You think this door is going to save your shop? There's shit I can break out here. Vlad should pay me to tell punks like you to go away. He get no money. Vlad and I had understanding. Only thing I understood was you owed him money. Magic, people bursting into song, sex changes. Sounds just like a night at my parents' house. I would love to get paid to throw knives at bitches. I would be a bitch knife at throwing motherfucker. And more on the terrible tragedy. Ah, that's right. We haven't had a Paparazzi beef is shot for weeks. It's a catastrophe for our ratings. Thank God. If I have to see Jill Van Krastenberg's chat, 